This news update is brought to you by. This is the Noon Barbados Today update for Tuesday, August 19, 2014. I'm Don Paris. Good afternoon. The Sanitation Service Authority is promising to deal with the garbage pileups affecting several communities across the island. Just when relief will come is still unsure, but the SSA's Public Relations Officer Carl Padmore says it will come soon. He says the authority is working assiduously to rectify the situation. He explained that the collection problems are not the result of any crisis at the authority. He says it's a shortage of working vehicles as some of the older fleet are off the road for maintenance. Padmore says Environment Minister Dr. Dennis Law and the SSA's management are working around the clock to get the garbage collection back on track. Barbados continues to face a crisis of confidence. That assertion from economist Jeremy Stephen, who's concerned that the lack of timely information from the government on developmental projects could affect investments. Stephen, the president of the Barbados Economic Society, says responsible sharing of information is critical to attracting more local and international investors. I'm saying that it is in the government's best interest at this time, especially uh, when confidence, this is a crisis of confidence, when it comes to confidence domestically where the IMF and other agencies have been advising that governments seek to encourage domestic investment, that confidence are, are appealing to the confidence of the people or the investors, the local investors, the bigger businesses as the central bank seems to be doing in part is key. So information sharing has to be a priority going forward, not to the detriment of the government, but information sharing as to where projects are, where the funding for these projects are, what are our expectations as a country and as citizens, and what are the expectations or the expectations for investors, domestic investors and external investors. The more information that's shared, the quicker I figure that we can actually deal with this problem collectively. It's not a QEH issue, neither is it political. The chief executive officer of the island's main hospital, Dexter James, says proposals that could lead to some Barbadians footing the cost of their health care is a policy decision taken by the government to improve the system and address ever-increasing health care costs. James says the Ministry of Health is preparing a concept paper to be presented to Cabinet. And while he admits there are no easy answers, he assures the new economic model will not put Barbadians at risk. Depending on how the model is, is crafted, it may not cost you anything more at all. It might just be uh, a, a reallocation of how the, 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 um, the source of revenues are, are derived. But you know, issues around that has to be actually determined because one has to look at the you know, your labor force. You have to look at the number of persons employed, um, the unemployed, the self-employed, the underemployed. You have to take a look at the, um, the vulnerable groups in society, persons with life-threatening diseases, and, and a decision and determination will be made depending on, on, on that actual determination, what model is best for Barbados. Despite the economic challenges and the large number of people losing their jobs, the Welfare Department has not seen any influx of people, for now that is. So says Social Care Minister Steve Blackett. He predicts that the department will see more people coming during the coming weeks and half a million dollars has been allocated to handle any fallout. We, we have not seen uh, a lot of them to date and this is principally because um, uh, most of those workers would have had exit packages, um, pay packages in terms of separate payment and other payments. Um, I be, and also along with the uh, unemployment benefits that they would have been um, uh, receiving. Uh, so we, we are anticipating that probably in the, in the next few months to come that we will see 
some of them uh, presenting to the welfare department. Shaniqua Thomas, the 16-year-old who was missing since last Thursday, is safe and sound. Lawmen say the Cummings Road, Britain's Hill St. Michael resident, turned up at the Hastings Police Station last night. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, your sun power. To the region now, Trinidad and Tobago's Integrity Commission has won a legal battle to have Google provide information as part of its investigation into the email gate scandal. U.S. District Judge William Oreck ruled that the application seeking information for three email accounts met both the statutory and discretionary factors. The Trinidad probe stems from a statement made by opposition leader Dr. Keith Rowley in Parliament in May last year. He'd claimed he received 31 emails purporting to show correspondence between Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Vicesar, Attorney General Anand Ram Logan, local government minister Suraj Rambashan, and security advisor Gary Griffith. He claimed the communication showed a sinister move to undermine the judiciary, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, and the media. And on the international scene, an early morning car crash in Argentina today killed three members of Pope Francis' family. The car driven by the Pope's 35-year-old nephew struck a truck on a highway northeast of the capital, Buenos Aires, killing two grandnephews and the children's mother. The pontiff's nephew is in critical condition at the hospital. The tragic news came as Pope Francis returned from his first trip to Asia. And on that note, we end our Noon Barbados Today update. We'll be back again at 6 this evening. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.tpb, subscribe to our e-paper and our email updates, and like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Don Paris. Do have a great day. This news update is brought to you by...